Okay, so let's see. Uh, I think this will be part, uh, uh, yeah, part two. I put up part one this morning. So this is continuing the uh, 11 stupidest things I did relating to Thailand. So let's see how old Rob has been doing here. Um, uh, yeah, okay. Uh, my first point, which will be point number three on this total list of 11, is I believed most of what I read on the internet. I have no idea why I did that. Uh, I think the problem, the real problem with Thailand is, the challenge is that it's so foreign to our Western cultures. We know nothing. People tell us something and go, oh, that must be. Um, in my case, uh, my credibility really comes from, one, I think you could probably tell by now that I speak right from the heart and I really edit very little what I say, good and bad. And... I've got my Thai wife here, and uh, she's in the number of the videos. She likes doing it with me. It, she's busy doing her government job. When she has time, she likes doing this. We keep saying we want to do it like a, a, the show together, you know, uh, but it's just so hard to get her with the time. Uh, but we'll do more. There'll be it'll, it'll, it will increase over time. Uh, so it'll 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 increase. But so. Believing what you read on the internet, and all I can tell you is to be just very careful of your sources that you choose to follow. Um, you know, what I say won't be true in every region and every village and with every person in Thailand. It's, it will not. It will absolutely not. You know, you can, and, there, and I know people who break every rule and, 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 and do this as recklessly as you could ever imagine, and they're having a fine time here, and they've had no problems, and I've met expats, been here 10 years, and didn't know there were scammers. I mean, so, you know, uh, was it, somebody was here a long time and didn't know there was such a thing as a geek. Now, I'm at a focal point of an enormous amount of gossip. Ties like to gossip, and you can draw your own conclusions, I'm not going to say. But obviously, I've got people proximate to me in my life here in Thailand, and a number of them have access to an unusual content of gossip, which I get to hear. And uh, if I keep hearing the same thing over and over and from multiple people and such, and it sits right with me, then I'll report that. Uh, if it's just one person, one case, one thing, it that you know I'll, I'll report it that way i'll say here's the story and i've done a few videos like that here's the story you know so but uh yeah that really tripped me up um people who did some of those articles bought into some of the scamming stuff and that pre set me up kind of pre it was a perfect storm for the scammers i ultimately met pardon me uh they uh, had me kind of primed and ready and waiting uh, because one of the websites I found, uh, a blog online, I read, uh, this guy clearly had no idea of what differentiated between a scammer or not, and, and it walked me right into a scam. Uh, I'm sure he didn't mean that. Uh, I believe the website probably was written by an expat by, based on the quality of the English and the slang used. Uh, Thais can only write our language so well, typically. I'm sure there are some that you can't tell, but... That would be an unusual person, believe me. Our language is so different from theirs. They speak it real quick. They'll speak basic English super quick under normal circumstances. I still stand by my prior statement uh, one or two videos ago that that one lady that lived with an expat for 10 years and never learned a lick of English, that stinks to high heaven. There's, And my, my Thai wife, first thing when I told her that, she goes, scammer. Now, she's aggressive. She will, if she thinks someone's a scammer, she'll be very quick to call that out. Um, and she, like most, I think all, of the actual good Isan ladies who are left, which is a disappearing group, by the way. You need to get here soon. Get them while they're hot. Um, they really deeply dislike the scammers. I mean, since I know where my scammers live, and I, I recently mentioned I drove by the house they built with some of my money and everything, uh, you know, um, they wanted to go there and like spray paint it. And I mean, they were really, they a couple of them had worked themselves up into a fury. They were like demanding I take them there. And I'm like, God, this isn't gonna end well. No, we're not doing that. Uh, anyways, uh, the, the fourth thing I forgot was dog and mosquito spray. You can't get those here. 
Based on my experience getting my giant Rambo 3 anniversary 20 inch long knife through airport security along with two sets of nunchucks and a whole bunch of medications, some of which are restricted substances, uh, with proper letters and documentation. And I brought my black belt card for my martial arts weapons. The knife, I got nothing. The knife is, I like knives, so they could have, you know. But they, they obviously saw everything. They never stopped me. They never did anything. They couldn't have cared less. Uh, based on that, I think if you bought dog spray and mosquito spray and brought them back here, I think they'd, I think they'd let you through. Um, I don't think you're going to risk jail time for dog or mosquito spray, so probably, uh, you know, the worst case is they confiscate it, which I still think is unlikely. When I return home in about a year to, for my daughter's wedding, assuming I'm still allowed to go, then uh, when I come back, I'm going to bring dog and mosquito spray and maybe chocolate, because chocolate here is really expensive, and I, I love cho I love chocolate, 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 I love chocolate. Uh, oh, here's one that really this hurt. As much as believing the stuff on the internet, this really hurt me. Um, I did not study or conceive of or think of or have any remote imaginings of what might possibly be the difference between uh, Thai rural culture, suburban culture, whatever, versus urban culture. Everything that, and I think she now does it a little different, and I mean absolutely zero blame on Crew Yusini at ThaiLearningSchool.com. I mean 0.0% .0 blame. She had no idea. I studied with her, and when she teaches the language, she teaches a little culture for context. Context only. Okay? And I took that to mean I was learning culture and language. And I, I thought that I was. And I was learning little teeny tiny piece of Thai high educated urban culture. If I were to go to Bangkok, I would have slipped right in there. Going to Koh Lat, no problem. A city of those st those type of standing, no problem. That means Concane, you know, wherever, great. I'm not there. I'm a half hour northeast, further into the Isan region. And let me tell you people, that half hour makes a world of difference. And that half hour, you go back about 70 years in time, which I happen to like, um, your cost of living goes to a further, again, half of whatever it was in Colot, give or take. Maybe it's 30% less, maybe it's 70%, I don't know, but it, uh, it would be hard to study. But, you know, rent goes from 10000 to 1500 a month, so there's that. Uh, Electricity is about half because it's not marked up, you know, on and on. So it's a significant cost of living advantage for me, which right now, while I wait on the rest of my pension to show up, uh, it helps. It helps. I live very comfortably without worry here. If I was in Pattaya, uh, it might be hard. Speaking of that, uh, I haven't watched it yet. I'm going to. Uh, Vagabond Awake, one of the other few channels I recommend. And, and, and far as I can tell, that guy's legit. I've watched three of his videos maybe or something, but he seems legit. Um, and uh, he just did a thing on Jomtian Beach, Pattaya, on living for basically a thousand bucks a month. Um, I watched one of their budget videos and it seemed logical to me. Uh, his are more uh, scientific than mine. Mine is, this is a lifestyle type, lifestyle type channel. If you're thinking about it, you're not happy and you want to come here, I'm here to encourage you. I'm here to point out the stuff. I'm not going to walk you through the 17 steps of getting a visa. I'm going to tell you basically how it works and say, and I and in my visa one I did. I listed the two actual official government websites, showed the actual full websites, and I, I said, go on Facebook and get the expats of Nakon and Ratachisma. And there's other ones you can find. You can search on Facebook as well or better than I can. And you'll find the groups and start asking questions and you'll get here just fine. That's how I did it and that's how you can do it. And it's easy. End of part two. No. Thank you for supporting my YouTube channel. Thank you very much.